whole uh, framework system was designed as a support for closer Europe European integration and to support what's known as the European uh, Research Area, which is a sort of a free market for research and researchers within Europe. So when you're coming to the program, you need to be aware that although the science is interesting and the stuff that you can do is very interesting, the background is that it's a European program designed by a committee of 28 national sovereign nation states uh, to do a particular job. So, so occasionally you will see rules that are written into it that, that, it, it's, that are easy to interpret as being rules to keep other people out. But I can absolutely assure you that the reason the rule is there is because nobody wants to reopen that whole discussion all over again. So you will see things like joint and several liability. You will see things like the IP rules. You will see things like the, 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 uh, the court of final court of jurisdiction being in Belgium because the notion of having to make 28 separate arrangements to cover that off is just absolutely horrendous. It's, so it's not, it's not targeted at keeping people out. It's designed to make it every easier for everybody to be actually to be part of the process. <coughs> And for example, if you look at the Societal Challenge 6, you will see that this, the calls and the topics in the program are very much linked to the European 2020 strategy, to a policy strategy from the European Union. So if you are working with this kind of calls and later hopefully also with projects, you need to be aware of this policy background. And you can find a lot of this information on the participant portal. So it's really very useful. Go on the participant, po participant portal, log in, get, a, uh, get an account. And if your organization is not registered, encourage your organization, the one who is responsible for such things, to get registered, to get a person who is dealing with it. That's one of the first steps. So um, I would like to talk a little about one project we have in Horizon 2020.